hey, before you guys go out and spend your hard-earned dollars or blow your money on uh, of your budget on an item that is kind of expensive, I want to let you guys know about the current Thulium laser fiber, uh, Thulium laser offerings in uh, urology. I don't know about you, but uh, Holmium laser has been around for a long time. You guys have, uh, some of you have used Moses before for soft tissue work. But for me, I mostly use Holmium lasers for ureteroscopy, laser lithotripsy, and things like that. And I presume that most urologists are using it for that purpose. But I want to let you guys know about the current Thulium, thulium laser offerings that are currently out there. And there are, right now, there are three. <laughs> I have never seen two of them, and I've seen only one. So the first one is uh, made by Olympus. It was uh, released, I think, a couple of years ago. I saw it at the Oh gosh, it was the, I believe it was a 2019 UCLA State of the Art Urology course in Marina Del Rey in California. I got to play with it. And if you want to uh, see my review, quick review of that uh, laser, and you know, when I first touched it, you can click on the uh, link right up here if you're watching this on YouTube. So Saltiv is the first one that I uh, saw and I knew about. And it's a, uh, it came, it comes in a couple of different versions. You can use it for soft tissue. You can use it for stones. And I actually used it for a stone case and it worked extremely well. A lot of people, a lot of urologists have tried it. The efficiency in which the thulium laser, it's a thulium YAG laser, the efficiency in which it can uh, fragment the uh, stones, I think is going to make PCNL less frequently done because of how quickly the thulium laser can fragment the stone. Now, there's been some concern about using thulium and the heat that it generates when you are busting up a stone in the ureter. So you always want to keep that in, under consideration when you're using a thulium fiber to uh, fragment kidney stones or ureto stones. Kidney stones, you got a little bit more room, hopefully a little bit more uh, irrigation. Uh, obviously, uh, you want to be cognizant of prolonged uh, laser thulium laser use in, in an enclosed space such as the ureter. So anyway, the Olympus Soltiv, very impressed. It's, it's a small device. The footprint is pretty darn small. So, so it's, a, it's a tabletop machine. And uh, it looks just like that. I mean, relative, si relative size is pretty small. And you can find some videos on uh, YouTube regarding how it's used, and uh, including my uh, quick review of the device. Um, the, the, it comes in two different versions. Number, uh, for the, the, the lower price version is a 35 watt uh, Soltiv. And uh, it's Retail, it's called Soltip Pro. The retail price is around one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Obviously, with any of this pricing, it's it's a negotiable. You can negotiate that with your uh, with your uh, rep. And uh, there's also a, a Soltip Premium version that is a sixty watt uh, maximum output, and that's about one hundred seventy five thousand dollars retail. Again, negotiable. Tabletop model, and it uses one hundred and ten volt power. Which is, which makes it a lot more universally easily acceptable because not all surgery centers are outfitted with 220 watt outlets, and if you want to buy one of the other units, I think you have to use a 220. I don't know about the Cook unit, but the Dornier one, you you're kind of limited to a 220 watt outlet power input if you want to take full advantage of the power of the Dornier unit. However, for the Olympus, 110 will get you by. And it's a, even though it's a tabletop model, and they say it's a tabletop model, really, you, you're not going to move it around once you set it on a tabletop because it is kind of heavy. So you're not going to ask your staff to move the, the Olympus device from tabletop to tabletop. You're going to leave it on a cart most likely and roll that cart around from room to room. So the footprint is relatively small, but if you kind of look at it from the space that it occupies, it's probably a, a wash compared to the Dornier unit. So a lot of favorable results already. If you haven't tried a, a Thulium laser from Olympus, definitely check it out. The efficiency is unparalleled and the ability, I also love the wireless pedal. You can change the mode of the laser and you can turn the laser on and off without asking somebody else to do it. 
you as the surgeon can do it from the wireless foot pedal. One less wire to tangle up, twist, and deal with, which I absolutely love. Now with these newer lasers, new, newer lasers like the Thulium lasers, they have made, <laughs> these manufacturers got smart. They made the laser fibers proprietary, meaning you cannot buy a third-party fiber and try to use it on an Olympus device. For instance, the Saltive, <laughs> the, 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 it's really neat. The laser fiber, you, you don't just plug, open a port and plug it in. You place the Olympus branded uh, thulium laser close to the where you plug it into the actual laser unit and the door automatically opens because it senses the RFID in the laser that you're trying to connect, the fiber that you're trying to connect. So without getting the branded fiber, it is going to be very difficult for you, use, for you to use the uh, Olympus laser generator. So you want to, I guess, negotiate that into your pricing, if you will. Make sure it's not just the, the acquisition cost of the laser. You want to think about the cost of the fibers and uh, make sure that is a sustainable business model for you to uh, to start using a particular brand's fiber. And I think Dornier's is going to be the same. It's going to be a proprietary uh, fiber. Speaking of fibers, the Olympus fiber is a thulium fiber laser versus the Dornier, which is a thulium rod laser fiber. So I'm not sure of the the how the physical difference is going to translate to the efficiency of fragmentation or tissue ablation or hemostasis, but that's that's a difference. The uh, wavelength of the Dornier fiber is about 2013, and for the Olympus is uh, 1932. So the lambdas are different, and I'm sure that has some uh, some contribution or effect on the the, the uh, how the laser interacts with the tissue, with water, with stones, and things like that. I've yet to uh, try the Dornier laser because let's switch let's switch uh, gears and talk about the Dornier. Uh, it's, it's called the Dornier <laughs> Thulio, believe it or not. It's called the Thulio, and uh, they have a uh, website up. It's not much information. It's very Spartan. I'm not sure what that 5G means. What does that mean, 5G? So I don't have much information. It's launching soon. It's currently not available for sale. Apparently, March of 2022 is when it's slated to be available. And as soon as I get my hands on it, I will try it and let you know. It's similar to their existing laser offering as far as footprint goes. Just as similar to the 35-watt laser that they have uh, running around right now, uh, Homium Laser. This is the uh, Thulium Yag uh, by Dornier. So it, the, the other downside, as I mentioned already, it takes 220, it requires 220. Apparently you can run it on 110, but 220 will give you the optimal efficiency and the power output uh, and, and so that you can reach the maximum potential of this, of this unit. I, ha I don't know if it has a wireless uh, foot pedal control. I have not seen any information about the efficiency in which it treats uh, stones, and I have it's uh, currently not available. <laughs> so I haven't seen anybody uh, talk about it or use it other than uh, limited information from uh, apparently the uh, the show and tell that they had at the uh, Western section of the American Urologic Association meeting that occurred this past weekend in Indian Wells, uh, California. So apparently this laser was uh, shown there, currently not available, available in March. The uh, price on this, the retail price is going to be uh, lower for the Thulio compared to the Olympus. And apparently retail is about 120000 uh, The fibers are going to run around a couple of hundred bucks. Uh, again, you can negotiate this depending on the, the, the deal that you're getting from, from Donier. You can certainly, uh, the, the pricing will definitely change. So these are just very, very ballpark figures. And again, the the Dornier fiber is a thulium rod fiber. I don't know how that translates into efficiency or uh, stone fragmentation. But uh, again, as soon as I find out more, I will let you guys know. So these are uh, two of the offerings that is one is currently available. The other one is about to release, be released in, the, in a few months. And the third one, which I've only heard about, never 
my rep has never talked to me about it. And, uh, and uh, it's by Cook. And it's called the uh, Cyber TM 200. So this is the Cook Cyber TM Cyber TM 200 Thulium laser system. It's interesting that it in the description it, it kind of downplays uh, laser lithotripsy. It doesn't even talk about laser lithotripsy. It talks about uh, it talks about uh, excision, resection, ablation, vaporization, coagulation, and hemostasis of soft tissues. Even though it does mention endoscopic surgery, so. Yeah, I don't know about this as much. Uh, here's a picture of it. So Cyber TM, I've never seen it. Uh, if you guys have any experience with it, let me know. Uh, but anyway, that's another uh, thulium laser fiber offering for urology. So you you want if you're looking for one, definitely check out these three. Uh, price comparison, the make sure you your power uh, availability in the uh, in your operating room can accommodate the 110 or 220. 110 is pretty common, but 220 in the United States may not be uh, common for all ambulatory, ambulatory surgery centers if, if you built an ASC uh, that did not uh, have a 220 outlet, you may need to retrofit in order to, in order to accommodate some of these uh, devices, these laser generators. So anyway, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I look forward to trying out the Dornier unit that is releasing in March of 2022. And as soon as I have more information, I will definitely share that with everyone. The Cook unit, we will see. I'll reach out to my rep and, and get more information about it. And if you know of any other thulium lasers currently available for urology, certainly let me know in the comments, and I will definitely check them out. In the meantime, stay well, take care, bye-bye.